All right, let's try this again, shall we? Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here, and I'm back today for another Dollar Tree haul. As always, I am very excited to show you what I found, but real quick before I get into the haul, there's Graham. <laughs> uh, thank you so, so much for those of you that have recently subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate you so, so much. And for those of you that are leaving likes and comments, it means the world to me. So thank you very, very much for the support. And if you are new, I do Dollar Tree hauls along with Dollar General hauls and hauls from other stores I shop at. And that's all I have for today. So let's get into the haul. All right, guys. So I have a pretty random haul for you today with a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to jump right in. First, I'm seeking <laughs> my revenge on this lamp. So if you guys didn't catch the video where I opened this and there was actually a book light or what looked like a book light inside, I wanted to get another one to see if it was the same deal. I didn't look inside yet, so I'm hoping that it looks like this picture instead of what happened last time. If you didn't catch that, just check one of my last videos and you will see me opening it, and it was not a pleasant <laughs> surprise for me anyways. But some of my friends on here told me that um, this is actually what it's supposed to look like and not what I actually received in the package last time. So let's try this again. Aha, this looks a little better. So this actually looks like the picture. So I must have just gotten one where maybe someone switched it out or something like that. But it does look like this and it does sit like an actual lamp. So that's pretty cool then. And you just put the batteries in in the bottom and you can sit it on a little desk or something like that. Now I can appreciate this and I also dropped the box, but now I understand how it fits in this little tiny box. So this is actually pretty cool. I like this. I think this is a really cool thing. I like how it flexes back and forth and you can kind of, you know, use it however you want. I really like this. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when I put the batteries in, it'll work, but that's what I'm talking about. So I did not expect to get the other thing, um, but I did. So lesson learned from me, just double check before <laughs> you purchase any of these things so that you know exactly what's inside instead of getting what I got. So good good thing with this is it's actually in there. So I am very glad I got that. Um, a few other new things that I saw. This is a quick eraser sheet, which is awesome. So this is like the magic eraser, but it's a, the scrub it brand and it comes in these sheets, which is really cool. It's usually in that block. If you guys are familiar with like Mr. Clean's you know, um, magic eraser. This is the same exact concept. It's just in sheets. So you just wet these sheets and then you can wipe off. It says, you know, any hard to reach places, ink, crayon, things like that. So it looks like this. And this is a really cool find to find at Dollar Tree for just $1. So I picked that up. Also, I found these super nice boxes. Look at these super, super nice boxes. They had a bunch of different designs. I got these two sizes. I really like this black and gold kind of foil look to them. I think these look very high end, very chic, and they look like they were more than $1. They're very hard. They're just like the cardboard boxes, but they look so nice. These also remind me of Kate Spade a little bit because of the polka dots, but um, if you open it up, the inside is also black, which I really like. So these are super nice quality boxes for gifts, and I wanted to get a couple to put aside. They had other designs as well, I think they had one with flowers on it, I want to say. I can't remember, um, but there were different ones if you're not into, you know, this black and gold kind of look. But look how nice these are. They're so nice. 
and they're large so they're really cool you could put like a nice um scarf or you know whatever in here i guess this is the smaller one and then this is the larger one so as far as uh, size comparison you can kind of see but those are so nice and i was so excited to find those actually um i also grabbed a couple of these spring items so i'm going to show you what i found in the spring line so these are some coasters i showed the valentine's coasters they had out that were in the shapes of roses so it looks like they're continuing continuing it to spring as well so this one is the purple one it has this little kind of ribbon on it and this flower shape which is really pretty i think these would be great to use out outdoors too so you don't have to worry about like if you misplaced one or something outside that would be totally fine that's what I'll probably do in the little enclosed like patio area that I have. And then this is a little blue flower with a little ribbon in the middle. I think this is really pretty too. So these were the two that I saw. I think there was one more color to be honest, but it's really cool that they're doing this. There's four pieces in each um, that you can just kind of use, you know, if you're having a little party or something or a get together or whatever. So I found those and then I also found this in the spring collection, which I thought was really cool. I've never seen them do this before. And this is a little cutlery set and it has little pineapples on it, but these are wooden pieces, which is really cool. I've never seen this before and I like how these look. They look like they cost more than a dollar. There's the foiled pineapple on them and the knife is serrated too. So it looks like it will actually cut decently through whatever um, you're eating outside. But I, I'm going to save these for the summer. I think these are super cute. So I am going to toss these aside so that I have those for later. Then I picked up, uh, let me see, this soap. It looks like this is personal care mint lemon and it's foam hand sanitizing soap. So this is a sanitizing soap and it was in with the regular soaps but i am really curious to see how this mint lemon smells let's see if i can open it at all to see how i like the smell okay it smells very clean i would say it doesn't smell very minty it smells more lemon if anything but that's okay because i like lemon so that's fine but this one smells like lemon. It has an expiration date on it of November 27th, 20, uh, 2022 on the back. So you can put this aside and keep it. And like I said, it says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs on the front too, which is always a plus. So I picked this one up and then I also picked up the sparkling cranberry one, which is this. And they had this also in the, um, in a, it was called cashmere vanilla scent. I didn't pick that one up. Uh, I was just afraid that that one might give me a headache because sometimes some of those scents get, tend to do that. This one smells really good. This one smells actually like cranberry. So that's really cool. I like this one. I would probably keep this one aside maybe for the holidays though or something. That's what it kind of reminds me of. So I really like this though. And it's really cool that you're able to find these like foaming soaps for a dollar that are antibacterial. So this is a really cool find. So I picked up those two. And then one other kind of springish item, I guess, is this little Easter egg, which I found with my daughter's initial on it. Now, I like yellow, but I don't like this like mustard yellow A in the middle there. I might change that. Um, her name is Adia. So I might change that into something else. Of course, you can use the other side for your own DIY. Do whatever you want to that side. I might do that, I don't know. But um, as far as this color goes here, I'm not, I'm not into, I'm not feeling it. So I might change that, but I thought these were really pretty. They had all the different initials and everything. So I, I thought this was a really cute little find for Easter. So I grabbed that. Another cool find um, for spring that I found were these lids. So these are decorative lids. They look like this. And essentially what you do is you put it, on top of a mason jar like this and you can stick the flowers in these holes instead of having to kind of arrange them you know like where they're flopping over and stuff like that 
you would get one of these. So I picked up a mason jar. You just take this off and put one of these on. And then you can get your own flowers and arrange them in these little holes, which is what it's for so that they stand properly like this. Really, really cool find. And it's super cool to put them in a little mason jar. I think that's really cute. So you can go ahead and do your floral arrangements like this and stick them in here without worrying about having them flop over or fall all over the place, which is really nice. But these are a really cool find. And then again, they have these mason jars there all the time. So I just picked one up um, just to have four flowers. If I did ever get like a, a couple little flowers for, or something, obviously you can't put like a bunch of flowers in this because it doesn't have a lot of slots. But for decorative purposes and things, that's what I picked it up for. So I did pick that up. And I think that was the last springish item that I have. Uh, the rest is kind of random. I did pick up these scrunchies and guys, these are for me. I know maybe I'm not, I don't know. Is it, is wearing a scrunchie cool now? I don't even know, but I, I really like these. I like wearing them at home. So I got these ones for myself. I'm sure my daughter will like these too. If she wants to use them, I'm completely fine with that. But there's glitter, there's, um, and two velvet ones. And I really like the color combination of these, which is what drew me to these ones to begin with. So this is why I picked these ones. And I always have this one on, this black one. So I figured I would kind of get a nicer one to use instead of this black one all the time. Uh, I also picked up these cute little socks for my daughter. I think these are so cute. I'm going to put these in her Easter basket, but look at this cute little like hamster. And I, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. So I figured she could wear these with her sneakers and stuff like that. And I picked these up for her. I think those are adorable. They also had bear, a bear one and a cat one, I want to say, but I really liked this. I thought that was cute. Uh, and then I picked up these cover-ups so these essentially you can um, stretch these over a bowl like this to put in the fridge I think this is awesome so I've never tried these before if you have let me know and let me know if they're good in the comments below but I've never tried them myself it says there's 17 pieces so there's four small seven medium and six large so I'm looking forward to seeing how these work uh, if they do work well I will continue to pick them up um, but I wanted to give just get one box just to try for now. My daughter also needed a pencil sharpener. So I got her a name brand one, which is Crayola. So I picked this up for her. It's a pencil and crayon sharpener, but I figured she just needs to sharpen her pencils and things like that for school. So I just grabbed this for her real quick because it was a dollar and it's name brand. So I just grabbed this one and she doesn't care what it looks like. So I just picked that one up for her. I picked something up for my nephews. This is a cool little Hot Wheels car. Normally I don't pick up the Hot Wheels unless they are like a special Hot Wheel, I guess. Like if I see like superhero ones or food related ones or something like this. But this one I thought was super cool because it has a dinosaur on it. So I grabbed this one for them. I've been kind of putting little things aside for them here and there, but I thought this one was super cool. I've never seen this one before. It says new for 2020, but it's called a Velasa racer. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think they'll really like this one just because it has like the dinosaur on it. But sometimes you can find really cool Hot Wheels at Dollar Tree that are like kind of odd or like different. So I picked that up and then I also picked up this little banner for my sister. Hopefully, again, she's not watching, but this says welcome baby on it and I'm going to hang this up for her so that she has it when she comes home from the hospital and um, my mom and I will probably just go head over there and kind of hang this up for her so that she can see this when she comes home. So I think it's really cool that they have this in the baby section. They have so many new things in the baby section too. Um, the baby shower section, I should say. It's next to the next to the wedding stuff usually but it's cool that you can find stuff like that there also super random i picked up this face shield which is so cool that you can find these at dollar tree for one dollar so do i wear a face shield out in public no you know not not really i would I, if i had to i would but i don't um i wear mask all the time but i picked these up for 
kind of doing other things around the house. So like if I'm spray painting something, uh, my mom said, for example, if she's cutting onions or something or mowing the lawn or something like that, you can use these for lots of different things and to find them for a dollar is great. I bought it just to keep aside, just in case I need it for whatever reason. Um, but I, I think it's great that you can find them there if you're comfortable, more comfortable wearing something like this, that's fine. Um, but they are there if you are looking for them. So you can get them just for $1. Uh, I also picked up this little container. I showed you guys in the last haul, I wanna say, that I picked these up for the fr refrigerator organization that I'm doing for fruits and vegetables. They keep really, really well in these containers. So I grabbed another one and I grabbed this one because this is actually Betty Crocker. So this is a name brand one and as opposed to the Dollar Tree one. The Dollar Tree one works really great too, but since this was Betty Crocker, I picked it up just to give it a try to see if it was any different. It does feel a little more, I guess, heavy duty, but other than that, it's it doesn't really seem any different to me but it looks like this and it just kind of drains the water in the bottom here when you put your fruit or veggies in here and they keep better and keep longer if you use those containers. I also picked up for my refrigerator organization, I picked up this, uh, what is this called? Vinyl top liner. So it's that non-adhesive, non-stick liner, but they have some really nice designs in this now. And this is a new design, this marble looking design. So I picked up two rolls of this to line the shelves of my refrigerator with so that if I ever do spill something, and for some reason I can't get it off, I can just take off this liner and throw it out and replace it. So I did pick this up. Another good thing that works in the fridge actually are those um, placemats that they have at Dollar Tree, the plastic ones, those work great because you can just wipe them off or wash them. And then also they have those cutting boards that come in a pack of two. Those also work really great in the fridge so that you can just pull them out and wash them as well. But I wanted to kind of use this just for looks purposes too to make it look nice in there as well so I got I grabbed those and then I got some soap related products I guess uh they had this old spice soap there which I've never seen them do in this bar soap form and it smells really really good so I picked one of these up uh I've never seen this one there and then they also had this this one smells really good too. Axe Clean and Fresh uh, Face and Body Soap. So I picked this one up as well. They both just smell like, like men's cologne. <laughs> Pretty much, I don't know. They smell really good. So I picked up that one and also this one. And then I also picked up some cleansing wipes. These are new. So these are Bolero and they're alcohol-free cleansing wipes for the body. So this is lemongrass and ginger. And this says you just use them um, when you're on the go to refresh your body, whatever, probably your hands or wherever you want to use, wherever you want to use these. But these are um, 30, a 30 count and they are alcohol free, like I said. So this is a cool find. I've never seen these there before. It looks like a newer Bolero product. So I picked this one up and then I also picked up the cucumber and fresh mint one just to kind of keep in my car in case I need them for whatever reason. But um, really cool finds and I've never seen them do like this Bolero product. So I was super happy to find these at my store. And that's all I have. So that was a little bit of a bigger haul, but a lot of good stuff. And I was very happy to share that with you. So I will keep it coming. Um, again, like I said, I've been looking for spring things too. So the more I find of those, uh, I will show you as well. So thank you so much for stopping by and taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss when I upload my next video and I will see you next time. Bye guys!